Welcome, I'm Rose Zoltley, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a juicy and delicious meatloaf. Let's get cooking. If you're in the mood for delicious food, come cook with Rose Zoltley. We're gonna start by chopping and dicing one small onion. Now I like to cut mine into small pieces since we're making it into a loaf. Next, you wanna dice three to four garlic cloves. I've got one that's pretty small, so I'm using four today. Now we're gonna chop up some fresh parsley. This is probably pretty good. If you need a measurement, I would say about two to three tablespoons. I like my meatloaf nice and thick, so today I'm gonna be using two packages. To give you an idea, this one is 1.78 pounds, and this one is 1.64 pounds. I guess total would be about three pounds, seven ounces. Now you wanna add your beef to a large bowl, preferably a larger one than I have here. Then we're gonna start adding our onions, garlic, and parsley that we chopped up. For my seasoning, I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, or to your taste. Now we're gonna add a little bit of pepper. You could do about one teaspoon. Add one teaspoon of basil. If you have fresh, go ahead and add fresh instead. Add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. I've got some Heinz ketchup. You can use any type of ketchup. We're gonna add three tablespoons. I'm also adding one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, half a cup of whole milk. I like to use plain panko crumbs. We're gonna be doing one cup of this. If you're only using two pounds of ground beef, then you wanna add three fourth cup of panko crumbs and about one third cup of milk. Everything else can stay the same. Break three eggs into a small bowl, or two if you're only doing two pounds. Give them a quick whisk, then add them to your bowl. With clean hands, you wanna start mixing everything together. I'm using gloves today, but you can use your bare hands. This is the consistency you want. You want it a little bit sticky, enough to be able to mold it. Now that it's well mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my board. At this point, you wanna start forming it into a loaf. Now, you could either use a cookie sheet pan. Once you form it, just place it on top of your cookie sheet pan, or you can use a meatloaf pan, which I'll be using in just a bit. I'm gonna spray my pan with a little bit of grease spray. Now I'm gonna start adding it to my pan, making it a nice, big, thick loaf, filling it up all the way to the rim. Now, if you prefer, you don't have to fill it all the way to the top here like I am. You can do two loaves. If you've never been to the community section of my channel, be sure and check it out. It's another way to communicate with me and get to know me a little better. Oh, I also opened up my new merch store, so be sure and check that out as well. I'll post the link in the description section below. All right, now we're ready to bake it in the oven. You wanna bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius for the first 45 minutes. And while it's baking, we're gonna go work on our glaze. For the glaze, add half a cup of ketchup into a small bowl. Add half a teaspoon of sriracha sauce. Half teaspoon of garlic powder. Add about one quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. Two and a half tablespoons of light brown sugar. Make sure to level it off and that it's not a heaping tablespoon. I'm also gonna add one and a half teaspoons of white wine vinegar. Now, if you don't have the white wine vinegar, you can go ahead and skip it, but I think it gives it a really nice extra flavor. Give it a mix until it's well combined and smooth, then set it aside. After 45 minutes of baking, we're ready to add our glaze. Just spread it all on top, giving it a nice thick layer. You're watching Rose Oakley. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified of any new videos. Now you wanna continue cooking it for an additional 15 minutes. Once it's out of the oven, let it sit for about five minutes, then we can start cutting. And here you have it, delicious, juicy, tender meatloaf. Mm, so good, guys. You can serve it with mashed potatoes and your favorite veggies. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this a like. And leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the site. 
Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the site. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.